Hello everyone. Tomorrow, February 1st is Lunar New Year and to celebrate DC is premiering an all new series featuring a brand new Chinese superhero, the Monkey Prince. So let me tell you a little bit about him as well as his very interesting connection to Batman. The Monkey Prince, also known as Marcus Sun, first debuted back in the 2021 DC Festival of Heroes, the Asian superhero celebration issue. Marcus is a teenage boy who never gets to stay in one place for very long, being the adopted son of parents who work as hench people for hire. However, his life changes when a mysterious man with a pig face claims to know who Marcus's father is. He claims that Marcus is the son of Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, the legendary figure from Chinese myth. That man turns out to be Shifu Pigsy, or Zhu Bajie, who once fought alongside the Monkey King and now begins training Marcus to fight evil using his father's powers. As a monkey prince, Marcus has the ability to shapeshift, turning himself into everything from Shazam to a parademon. However, he hasn't quite gotten the hang of his powers, so his imperfect transformations usually give him away. Marcus also wields the staff of the monkey king, Jin Bang, which Marcus shrinks and tucks away into his ear for safekeeping. But here's the kicker. You see, despite being a hero in training himself, Marcus actually hates superheroes. And there's one very good reason why. Batman. That's right. Batman traumatized Marcus as a child. After the Dark Knight breaks into his home in the middle of the night and interrogates his parents, Marcus can't even be reminded of Batman without having a panic attack. Marcus's only friend at school also happens to be Billy Batson, the Shazam. So no matter where he goes, he is surrounded by superheroes. This story is written by Jean Luen Yang, the award-winning author of American Born Chinese and Superman Smashes the Clan, some of my favorites. And the art is done by Bernard Chang, who has a very fun and fluid style that I think works really well with the tone of this book. And of course, it is brightly and beautifully colored by Sebastian Chang. I actually grew up being told stories about the Monkey King by my grandparents. So seeing his son as a DC superhero is so cool to me. But even if you don't know anything about the Monkey King, this series does a really great job of incorporating the lore as well as other characters from the journey to the West, which is the 16th century novel that the Monkey King is most famously featured in. Monkey Prince issue zero is actually free to read online right now at dccomics.com and it gives a little bit of backstory into the Monkey King and establishes some characters and villains that we will see come back later. To see Marcus take up the legacy of the Monkey King, check out The Monkey Prince debuting tomorrow on February 1st, and I hope that you have a wonderful Lunar New Year.